and welcome back. Well, we have almost made it through the holiday season, but we have one more holiday to celebrate, and that's New Year's Eve. And don't you just think that's one of the most fun nights of the year? You can get dressed up and go out with your friends and have a great time. I certainly do. I love it. And so I decided to do a little dress rehearsal and I'm going to make sure that I have everything I need for that night. So we're going to do makeup and I'm going to show you the outfit I plan to wear. And so let's get started. I've already applied most of the makeup that I'm going to wear, but we're really going to amp up the eyes. So what I'm going to do is apply more of the color that I wear on my lid. And that is Urban Decay Scratch, and I'm really enjoying this color because it's more neutral. I sometimes wear a white to off-white color, but I think this pinkish nude color with a little bit of sheen is perfect for the evening, and I'm just going to add a little extra on the inner part of the lid, not, a, not all the way to the corner, but in the inner to the center of the lid. And then I, and by the way, that is a Sephora 207 brush. And then I am going to add some more of the Sephora. This is Cashmere Coat. It's Sephora Shadow. I stumbled upon this color and love it. It is kind of a beigey charcoal color. And so I blend that in to what I usually wear, and I consider it a blended out cut crease. So I usually will add more in the evening and blend that all out. And I do have trouble keeping them even because I this, for some reason like today, this one seems like it's farther out than blended out than this one. But um, for those of you who like the way I wear my makeup and have asked, this is the cashmere coat, but for those of you who have, and there have been a few of you who have let me know that you don't like the way I wear my makeup, uh, I am open to all suggestions. So feel free to send me your suggestions and I'll give them a try. But for now, this is the best I can do. And this is what I've done for quite a while now. And I've kind of gotten it down to the point, I don't have to think about it too much when I do it. So, um, but I'm always open to, for suggestions. And I know some of you are professional makeup artists. I am not. This is just my way of doing things. And then next, I'm going to apply lashes. Now these are Ardell Demi Wispies, and I'm going to apply them. And I have made a, a video in the past of the way I apply my eyelashes. And I'm gonna attach that at the end so you can click into it and see my process of applying the lashes. So I'm going to get started on the lashes and we'll come back and I'm going to go through the remainder of the process. Okay, so we have the lashes attached. And oh, for those of you who want to know, this is for OPIs, don't boss me around. And I may change it. There's a Lisbon Wants More that I like. This isn't bad. It is sort of a taupe color with a little bit of lavender in it so that might work and Lisbon wants more is not that much different it, it's just a little lighter in color and I need to make that decision pretty quick though and some decisions that I have made is what I'm going to wear and what colors I'm using for the night and I'm wearing silver and black so I have decided to use this glitter liner that I've used in the past I really love it and it is uh, Urban Decay's this color is called heavy metal it's Urban Decay it comes in a tube liquid liner and they have it in several different colors of metal. They have uh, like a rose gold and a gold, and I go with a silver. So I'm going to apply this. I'm, I have a mirror here and a mirror that in my hand. So I'm going to apply it with a mirror in my hand. So maybe you can see, and then I'll try to do a little close-up of it so you can see what it actually looks like. And I apply it above my lashes. It is, one great thing about it is that this will dry and stay in place 
It's not a powder that will fall out on your cheeks. However, if you don't come home and take this off, you're gonna wake up with glitter everywhere. It, especially if you wear quite a bit of it and you'll get it on your pillowcases and you'll find it on your, in your hair and it's just, uh, unless you like that unicorn look, <laughs> it's, not, it's not pretty in the morning. I've worn it before and wound up with it down here on the sides of my nose and my hair. And see, it adds just a little bit of glamour and drama, lots of drama to your eyes. Now, I may carry it on up a little bit higher because you think it's a lot, but it's really, when you get it, when you get into a situation where you're out late in the evening and it's really dark or you're in a restaurant or club and it's really dark, it really pops, but not as much as you think it does when you're at home. When you're at home, it's like, wow, when you get out, it's not as bold as you think it is. And I will make a close-up picture and put it with this. But I did not go all the way up to the crease. I went lashes and then above the lashes. And then finally, so let that dry a minute or I'm gonna have it, I will have it all the way up to the crease if it doesn't dry. Okay, so now we're gonna go with a luminizer. I have this Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer. It's number 002, love it, almost used this up as well. And add a little highlighter on your cheeks and I don't know, what do we think? Too much? We are going to do a little close-up and add it right here so you can see it. And then I am going to change my earrings because I want to add a little drama, little drop earrings. And let's do that. I'm gonna grab those and I'll be right back. So I've decided to go with these rectangle pave dangles. And I almost put my hair up. I'm just gonna put it back behind my ears, but maybe a little fuller. But I, um, let's see if I can get a little fuller. I, uh, I, look better. I decided not to wear my hair up because I felt like with the glitter liner and the dangling earrings, which I was determined to wear, that if I put my hair up, it was gonna look like I had too many accessories on the top part of my body. So if that makes any sense to you, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to style my hair with the clothes that I'm gonna wear. And it seems best if I keep my hair very, very simple because I do want to wear jewelry. I like a nice little bit of glam. Is that one backwards? Uh, yeah, that one is backwards. Let's turn it around. These are like little jackets that go on my diamond studs. And, oops. Let me show you how these work. So here's the stud earring. It's just a basic stud. Whether you wear CD, CZs or diamonds or whatever it is, you can find these. That jewelers have them. And you attach, actually you run the stud post through like that. And let me see if I can get it back in without dropping it one more time. I'll have to remember to look twice before I leave the house on New Year's Eve or I'll have one pave shiny side and one that's not pave on the back. So there we go. 
I'm dang ready to dance. So final touches, I'm gonna get a little bit of this glitter off of the crease of my eye, where it is, where I blinked before it was dry. So remember, if you use this Urban Decay glitter liner, don't blink for a couple seconds, let it dry, and then it'll stay in place like a liner. Let's see, there's a one little glitter there. And there we go. And so I am planning to look somewhat like this. Maybe my hair may be a little bigger than this. And so now let's go and see what I'm going to wear. Okay, so this is the dress. And I'll try it on in a few minutes and show it to you. But I wanted you to see it up close. It is a St. John. It is a shift dress. So it's not the sexiest dress out there, but it certainly is chic. It is black. It is a laser cut velvet in a swirl pattern. It has sequins. It has feathers. It has a lot of embellishment. So you can see why I have decided to style my hair very, very simply. Now, I am entitled to change my mind about my hair. I have a, a tendency to do that occasionally, but for now, we're gonna go with this because I have the drop earrings, I have glitter eyeliner on, and all of the embellishment on this dress, so we don't wanna go too far over the top because then you lose that chic look. So let me show you the shoes. I have decided to wear my Christian Louboutin Erisas. These shoes I just adore. I, this Dior say cut could not be more stylish. I love it and I do like the fact that these are suede and other than black velvet, black suede has the most deep black color, and I think it's perfect for evening. I have this Dior Say Cut in several colors, but I have this particular shoe in black patent as well. But I don't think, I always consider black patent for summertime, and a black flat shoe, flat leather shoe, I don't think would look very evening-like. So I do know that this uh, 100 millimeter heel is danceable because I've danced in it before and it worked. And I just think it looks very chic and elegant. And I'm considering carrying a black, uh, black a silver sequin bag, but I probably won't because I'm afraid that's just one more element added to the mix that I really don't need. And besides that, I have a husband who has some empty pockets, so if I want to take a lipstick, he's available. So I'm going to probably not carry a bag, and let me run in here and put this on and show you what it looks like. I really like the feathers. I think they're cute. Well, I am wishing you a very happy New Year's Eve and a very happy new year. And don't forget to remove that glitter when you get home because it's gonna wind up in your hair and everywhere else. And that's not a good look for your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or some random person. But I guess if it's a random person, that glitter in your hair is not your major concern. But I hope you had a good time and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please tap the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Happy New Year! Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to